So uh, right now, uh, before we bring in our guest of honor, I would like to say thank you. Shout out to Mr. Lee Weigrant, who's running for Coward County Executive, for having his fundraiser at the Academy Tavern. Anytime you go to an African-American-owned establishment, at the, especially the Academy Tavern, it's always good um, for... Uh, for business, especially in this hot day. It's also a hot day here in Cleveland. Uh, voter registration is going on this weekend, and also everything is heating up at this particular point in time. As far as early voting has already started for the August 3rd election. So, August 2nd. Excuse me, August 2nd. I don't like it. In July, halfway done. Tomorrow going to be the 15th. It's going to be, you know, 4th of July already passed. Juneteenth already passed. Things of that nature. So, got you. So, the thing about it is, is that right now, without further ado, EP, the show host, also Miss Treasure, is doing the ones and twos on my uh, on the mixing board right about now. So, let's get to business. So, is there an entrance music for my guest here? Just making sure. Just making sure. If I would have known, I would have chosen the song. <laughs> so I'm bringing in the smooth sounds of everything right now. Please welcome. She's going to bring you the good life. She's running for a state rep in District 18. Please welcome my special guest right now. Uh, Miss Good Vibes herself, Miss Sharelia Taylor in the building. How are you, Miss Taylor? Uh, I'm well, thank you. You are. Thank you are. for having me on your show. Um, it, it feels actually really good to be in the Voice It radio. You know, uh, I have a long history with E and Voice It radio. I used to do a show mm -hmm. for uh, E. Wait, how many years was that? Eight, nine, ten, No, yeah, right. It was more than that. It was like 10, 10, 10, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. I've been on the air with this, with, with him for dang near close to seven. So. 10 years. 10 way years back. ago. Way, way back. Some y'all don't even know about. Way, right? way back in the time. <laughs> yeah, way back. <laughs> so. But, you know, again, thank you for having me, Larry. Uh, my name is Shalira Taylor. I'm running for state representative in District 18, um, which 18 covers Cleveland, right? Mm -hmm. Garfield Heights and Maple Heights. And it's Cleveland, um, Wards 1, Ward 6. Even closer to the mic. I need to be closer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. right there. Wards 1, my, Ward. My face is touching me. No, you good. You good. good. You good. I, got, I gotta get closer. No, no, no you good. You right there. You right there. <laughs> Hang on up. We got you. All right. So, um, again, District 18 is uh, Cleveland's East Side. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Garfield and Maple. Um, the thing about the Cleveland is a little uh, chopped up in certain wars. So, like in War One, is only um, a few precincts. So. Mm -hmm. There's A, K, I, O, R, and U. And then we have wards 2, 4, 5, 6, and 12. Okay. So, okay. Go so why are you running for state rep? Well, this is my third time running for state representative. Um, I, my first run was in 2016. Mm -hmm. When... Um, you know, I grew up in Cleveland Heights, and I purchased a house down on 93rd and Union, literally right down the street from you. Really? From here, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um... You still had that house? Yeah, that's where I live. Right now, still to this day. Okay. <laughs> uh, but when I got here, I noticed there was a distinct difference between where I grew up and where I live now. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, like, you know, what, what was that behind that? come to find out it was politics. You know, the reason why our streets are bad and they're not like the suburban streets is because of our politics. Our city council uh, is in charge of that. Um, or, you know, the reason why our school system isn't doing well uh, compared to suburban schools, um, you know, it, it has to do with politics. You know, you, you have to look at your school system and, and the people who are in charge there. 
uh, so on and so forth. It wasn't that it was color, because I grew up, even though I grew up in Cleveland Heights, I grew up around a lot of black people. So it wasn't that it was color. And in this district that I'm representing, it's not just black people in this district. Uh So I knew it had nothing to do with color, but it had everything to do with politics. So I got involved to figure out um, if we were just being overlooked, Mm -hmm. if we were being purposely ignored, or if it was set up to be like this. You know, so it's not it's not really set up. The system is broke. Mm -hmm. And I think what we because we keep voting for the same people over and over again. And so, like with the seat that I'm running for right now, there's never been a a conservative state rep in the seat ever. So now my question from one of my Facebook followers, Marina Foster, asked, you're a Democrat or Republican? I'm, I'm a Republican. Okay. So that's what I was getting into. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for asking. So um, it's never been a conservative in this seat, and so what that means and what that looks like is is that in the state of Ohio, the Republicans have the majority of the House, mm-hmm. right? All right. So the Republicans have literally the majority of from the governor's office to the treasurer's office to the secretary of state. They're all conservatives. So imagine being a state rep trying to get uh, resources, money, whatever you need for your district, mm-hmm. but you're asking the opposite party. Right. Okay. So not saying that they can't get it, but the previously three state reps before me, it doesn't seem like a lot of resources came directly from the state from them. Mm-hmm. So, um, like, for instance, uh, as of right now, there's a program that um, the treasurer uh, has for people who are literally doing God's work in the community. You Mm -hmm. know, the people who are giving out the clothes, giving out the book bags, the haircuts, um, those people who are doing the actual work, there's a program called Results that was put together by um, our current treasurer, which is a Republican, Spriggs, and Uh to give money to people who are actually producing results in the community. They didn't come up with, hey, we're going to do this and third in the community. He said people are already doing this work in the community. We just need to get the funds to them. This program has been around for the last couple of years. Right. Last year, I did not hear our state representative mention this to anybody. Uh, Last year, I'm telling people about these resources that they can get, you know, that are, I see people giving out food. I'm like, hey, you know, you can do this. I met a young lady at one of uh, the Weingard's event at the uh, golf course, and she's a central committee person that has been um, doing a lot of good work in Ward 5. But yet she's taking money out of her own pocket to do it. Programs like Results can actually, you know, refund her for the money that she's spending. There's a lot of people doing those good works in the community like that. And those are just one of the resources that are available that a lot of people don't know about because, you know, your state rep is either out the loop or just didn't know because it's a, you know, a Republican bill, a Republican ballot or Republican, they look at it like, oh, if we do it, it's going to be helping or making the Republicans look good. So a lot of times they don't get a lot of the uh, resources that are out there available because it's going to make it look like it's one side doing more than the other. Okay. So. so what have you been doing before you ran for state? What's what's your what was your current occupation? What is your current occupation occupation now? So I have my own marketing and promotional team, mm-hmm. and before that, I ran field teams for different Fortune 500 and 300 companies like Mercedes Benz, Anheuser Busch, uh, Metro PCS. Uh, I ran field teams um, for other candidates once I got into politics and um, actually like almost like a lobbyist, if you will, for okay. different legislation as well. What made you get into politics in the first place? 
again, um, I moved from the suburbs into the inner city and thought that it was um, a big difference and decided instead of moving back to the suburbs that I'll do something about that. Okay. So let's get into that. A lot of people, you know, in Cuyahoga County is mostly Democratic. Uh, what is the biggest myth about the Republican Party, especially with former President Trump? Um, what is the biggest myth about the Republican Party? So the first myth is Cuyahoga County is mostly Democrat. That's uh, not the truth. Cuyahoga County is 73% independent. There are more independents than there are Democrats or Republicans within Cuyahoga County. So that's the first thing. Um, the second is, I don't know, um, whatever myths uh, that the, the party is all white, <laughs> um, which is not true. Uh, it's people from black, white, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Asian. I've met people from all different races and walks of life from rich or poor um, that were uh, Republicans. Um, I, I, I guess you can say, you know, I'm a Republican because I'm a conservative, not because of anything else. Um, mm -hmm. My views and what I think that um, would be best for us and the legislation that has been passed that I look at has that's been in our best interest has came from the Republican side. Okay. So why should people vote for you for a state rep? Well, um, well, one, uh, I feel like out of um, the candidates, pre previous candidates or any candidates that may be coming up, um, I have experience. So I've been working uh, closely, not only with um, already elected officials, like I said, from the governor to the to the secretary of state. Um, I have good connections with these people uh, for resources for our community. I have a voice uh, that a lot of people um, that may try to run in the seat may not have. I have a voice, I have a seat at the table of where a lot of these um, uh, things are getting, you know, issues are being talked about, issues are being brought up. Um, one thing I spoke about when in 2016 when I ran for office um, was, you know, clearing a lot of people's records. Um, we wanted people to get back to work and get jobs, but uh, a lot of people had felonies on their records, so mm -hmm. it was hard for them to get jobs. So after about two years of talking about, you know, um, reform and getting people back to work and making sure that people aren't coming back to jail. Um, there were two bills that were passed uh, within in our, in our house, and both of them had to do with uh, expungement. Uh -huh. so, okay. okay. Uh, Dr. Montgomery, uh, shout out to him on my Facebook Live. He said, what's your, what's your opinion on Trump, Trump and what's your opinion on the Green New Deal? So, I mean... Again, Trump is not in office. We're talking about Shalira Taylor for state representative. Right. Uh, again, the president has nothing to do with the position in which I'm going for. Um, they're like even right now, the current president has nothing to do with the position that I'm going for. They can't affect any change or any kind of legislation that we're putting in. So, um, mm -hmm. so it. That's, that's just that. As far as the Green New Deal goes, um, I will say that pretty much the Republicans and I see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. Um, but energy is one that I for sure um, could go a little left with. And, you know, I want to see more water um, being used, more wind being used and more solar being used, especially here in Cuyahoga County because we have um, a great water system in which that we can we can do that with. Um, oil, like, you know, oil is so archaic to me right now. Um, we, we could do a lot better in, in that instance. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right, Dr. Montgomery, you said Trump's the leader of your party. I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just saying. But um, we're going to... 
before we get to we because uh, there's an issue that came up about Roe versus Wade, uh, the decision the Supreme Court overturned it. We're going to go to we going to break now. Yep. All right, we're going to go to break. So when we go to break, we'll come back and talk with candidate for state representative Sharila Taylor. When we come back on the on headlines and headaches on VoiceRadio.com. Calling number is 216-772-0500. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of calls after the break, so we'll be right back. Shalira. Thank you. I was just about to tell you.